many, many issues that New Jersey Transit is facing. One of the key issues, I, I will say, is the gateway tunnel, um, or the lack of our gateway tunnel. We have two uh, rail tunnels into Manhattan, uh, the Hudson River tunnels. They are uh, an incredible marvel of engineering for people 100 years ago. Um, that's how old they are right now. They have been severely damaged by Superstorm Sandy. So those of you who have had the privilege of commuting for many years um, have seen the um, ever decreasing quality of your transit in many cases due to a lot of the damage uh, in those tunnels. We have, Congress has appropriated the money for the Portal Bridge project. That money is sitting right now uh, with the Secretary of Transportation, Elaine Chow, who will not release that money to us. We have met all her demands. Um, I have written letters. We have passed legislation to um, try to force that money out. We have yet to see the money. The Portal Bridge alone, if we could get that Portal Bridge fixed. Uh, many times as you're coming into the tunnel, you, you hear that you have signal problems. Sometimes that's the Portal Bridge not, not making the connection, not getting shut correctly. It's, it's a very old swing bridge that doesn't always make the connection. And even though I'm still waiting on the footage, uh, evidently there's a guy with a hammer that occasionally has to come and hit that shut to make that connection. So if we could just get that money released and that done, that will help us. Something I'm just passing on to you because I don't think I quite realized how quickly we could get some good results from the Gateway Tunnel Project. So I think a lot of us, when we think about the Gateway Tunnel Project, we think of it as being a 10 year long process. There will be gains to be had throughout that process. So for example, the final Gateway Tunnel, we can, you can ask questions and we can hear more about that, but the final Gateway Tunnel Project, we will double the rail capacity. We will have four fully operational tunnels in and out of Manhattan. Uh, right now we have two. So we will double our ability to get in and out of the city. But before we come to that final, uh, that final goal, we will start to see more access because even one new tunnel will be, will have a better efficiency and a quicker in and out of the city than our two old tunnels do now. So as we get the new tunnels online and take the old tunnel one at a time offline, we'll still be getting greater efficiencies. And we will at different times work up to um, having two new tunnels, which will help us with efficiencies, and then we'll have three and four as we get the old tunnels refurbished. So it's not, it's not a 10 year wait to start to see, I hear so many people say, well now what do I care because I'll be retired in Florida. Well hopefully we're gonna fix some of the retirement costs so we'll stay here, but also you will start to see the gains of commuting um, more quickly than 10 years from now. Well I hope so, if we can start to get that tunnel funded. And I just wanted to kind of update people on and in case your understanding was slightly different, um, and that, that could be very helpful. We just had the chairman of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee in the House here. We were down in the tunnels at midnight. Um, and uh, he is fully aware of what a critical problem this is. And he said there is no infrastructure plan that he will pass that will not include the Gateway Tunnel Project. Um, so we still have work to do to get the, the president to agree to this, to get the money released. But that is a number one priority in the House of Representatives. And hopefully we can move that through the Senate and get the president to sign it sooner rather than later.